You'll find the same image on virtually all of the papers out of the UK today, the bronze statue of the slave trader Edward Colston being heaved into Bristol Harbour by protesters. The Guardian headlines on the fact that many are accusing the British government of ignorance for suggesting that these protests are only about anger over prejudice in the US. In their editorial, the paper writes that George Floyd's death has resonated so widely not because it was exceptional, but because it was not. The French paper Liberation is making that same argument today. They talk about worldwide anger from London to Sydney to Paris to Rome. The paper notes that in France, too, some politicians try to argue that racism and police violence don't exist. That is an incredible denial of reality, according to Liberation's editorial. Many papers are also making a direct link between the timing of the protests and the COVID-19 pandemic, which really laid bare racial and other inequalities. The Canadian writer and activist Naomi Klein makes that link in an interview with Le Monde. She says that all fights are connected, from police violence to climate change to economic inequality. Her conclusion is that we need to think about the post-pandemic world we want to build. Accelerating is what capitalism wants us to do, she says, but speed is the enemy. Finally, we end with a real-life story about buried treasure that was uncovered after a decade. In 2010, the collector Forrest Fenn hid a chest containing $1 million worth of gold in the Rocky Mountains and published clues about where to find it. He now says it's been discovered but hasn't revealed the identity of the person who found it. The collector said he basically did it to create a real-life adventure for people, and while he's glad it's been found, he said that he is sad that the chase is over.